Hey there folks, uh, today I bring you a box roulette battle against Jay Bazzi, uh, who just l last battle beat me in OU uh, pretty handily due to some hacks that I'm still bitter about to this day. I'm sorry, I should get over it. Uh, it's the game. But anyway, um, so box roulette, the innate flaw in it is that if your opponent has Pokemon just from OU and New U and you have Pokemon from all tiers, then it can get a little bit unbalanced. So for instance, I've got that Waylord there that has no business against on this team. And so that's a little bit dead weight. But I do have my, um, it's, it's actually Charizard Y, not Charizard X, but still. So Jufro versus Infernape. Uh, I actually am okay with this because um, the point of this Pokemon is actually, it's a fear set. Oh, I switch out anyway though. Um, so the, the idea is Stun Spore first turn, um, let him get me down to 1 HP Endeavor, uh, and then um, your opponent's down to 1 HP. Although actually that wouldn't have been the best thing against Frail and Fernape anyway, but it would have been better against like um, a few of other of his Pokemon. Anyway, I go for the Fire Blast with my Ikea. Uh, this is um, an old, old build back from before Gen uh, 5 was released in the US, um, so that's why the Japanese lettering. Um, it's not Japanese letter, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I do an excellent... Pro I don't know what I was doing there, actually, because he could have gone for the... Well, he wasn't going to go for the Fire Blast, but he could carry the Fire Blast, and that would have been a stupid setup there. I'm guessing he doesn't have the Fire Blast based on how he was playing right here. Uh, I go ahead and switch out here. So basically, there's just a bunch of switches right now. I have, But now I'm in a situation that I think is good. My charge are Y against his Inferno, but he decides it's good for him, too. So I'm like, please don't tell me you have the Stone Edge because that would ruin my day. Uh, but I go ahead and Mega Evolve here, and I'm like, no Stone Edge, please. No, just no, just don't do it. No Stone Edge. Um, so there's a little bit of um, symmetry in my battles, oh, my Box Roulette battles. I've had three so far. The first I had Karakasa twice, um, and now these, these last two, one um, I've had Charizard twice, but it's actually a different Charizard each time. I think it was the same Karakasa both times, though. So I actually managed, he doesn't manage to take me out of the Thunder Punch, which is nice. Uh, and he's really lucky I wasn't a Charizard X there, um, but I do manage to take him out with an Air Slash. And you're thinking, uh, and Tar there's got to be better moves than Air Slash on um, Charizard Y, but it's what I have. Um, you know, this it was not built to be a Charizard Y. I don't actually remember. Oh, it was, I actually built it in Gen 4 for a doubles team. Uh, really weird build, uh, and the only change I made was replacing Hidden Power Grass with Solar Beam, because why would you use Hidden Power Grass? on a Charizard Y. But anyway, uh, I am babbling, and now it is my Ikea versus his Gudra, and I'm thinking this is a good setup for me. I go for the Calm Mind because I don't think he can do jack to me. So I go ahead and Calm Mind, and I'm thinking uh, maybe, you know, I, granted he's probably a Salt Vest, but after a, a few Calm Minds I should be able to do stuff to it. So he goes for the Dragon Pulse, I'm like, Psh, whatever, I'm plus one, what you gonna do to me? And it does actually half, and I'm like, what? Gudra! No, I didn't. No one ever told me that you were that powerful. So I go for the fire blast uh, because I think in in the sun it does more damage than anything else, and it still does nothing uh, thanks to that assault vest. So he's gonna go for another dragon pulse, and at this point, I don't think this is my uh, I don't think this is my chandelier that carries the pain split. That would be the only way that I that I, it would be worth saving this thing. Because it's not like I have a cleric. I go for another fire blast. What am I? I guess I'm hoping for the burn. Not really, but. Uh, I go ahead and do it again, and he goes ahead and Dragon Pulses for the KO. He gets the first... Oh, he does not... I got the first KO of the match. Um, but he does get, uh, his, his first KO of the match. And the sunlight fades here. So, uh, that's... that is what it is. I go out into Pidgey, just to get the sun... Not to get the sun back up, but because I think that's actually... Excuse me. The correct choice. And I'm just gonna roost here as he switches out. I think, yes, I do roost. And he doesn't switch out, and I'm like, oh, okay fine. That's fine. I should be able to take whatever you can dish out, because it's not like you have calm mind up. And he goes for the Thunderbolt, and I'm like, ha! That's awesome! You went for Thunderbolt, and I... It actually gets me down to, um, a little bit over, under half, and I'm just hoping that... So I'm, I'm under half, and I'm a little bit concerned because he looks... He has that, um... He has that, uh, Fortress who could easily set up rocks. I go out now into Barnacuddle, because I... Don't think he carries the fire blast. I think that if he carried the fire blast, he would have played differently earlier on in the match. Um, and so he switches out Gudrick here. By the way, I'm I'm considering I'm considering changing how I record these videos so that they include the turn counter at the bottom. Uh, but it's 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 difficult for me to figure out with the viewer that I have uh, 
because my screen isn't quite tall enough to display both at um, the resolution that I want, uh, both the top and the bottom screens at the resolution I want, and I can split it, but that just it leads to so many problems. Uh, although, I guess I could split it, record both things, do some... Uh, it's, it's a complicated mess. Anyway, I thought this was a strange move because I carry the... Oh, I, all right, so I carry... I do carry the um, power whip, but he gets a flinch, and I'm like, freaking hacks. Freaking hacks, man, right? Uh, he goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rock, so, uh, you know, it's, it's Box Your Light. You don't choose the Pokemon that you have that have various moves. I go for the Gyro Ball here, actually, not the Power Whip, because I didn't, I wanted the perfect accuracy. And it KOs! So, uh, I'm thinking this might have been a Jolly Mammal Swine, but that works for me. Uh, unfortunately, the Sun is now, or not that Sun, the, the Rocks are now up, so I'm going to have to spin. Otherwise, my Charizard Y is DOA. So not a good situation for me to be in, although I'm really glad that I have a spinner, because that's that's really a, a, the only thing that's saving my life right now. Um, Noivern goes for the flamethrower, I decide that it's Barnacuddle's time to die. I do have another Pokemon that can set up both rocks and spikes, and it can also spin for, the, for uh, additional awesomeness, so yeah. I go now out into Starbuck. I'm predicting that this guy is, uh, is choice in some way, so locked into flamethrower. Um, unless he took Life Orb Recoil and I missed it. Uh, if so, I'm, I apologize. Uh, and so now my Waylord is out, and this is just freaking hilarious. I actually have Water Spout on this thing because it is a Scarfed Waylord, uh, but I go for the Ice Beam thinking uh, that if he'd stayed in, then it wouldn't have been a great thing. Uh, so I take out his Gudra, and that works just fine. I'm totally okay with that. And now the question is, he's he's probably guessing that I'm locked in. And so he goes out into Mawile, and I'm like, ugh. That's not good. But it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm predicting him to set up on me, but this is actually going to give me a golden opportunity because my fortress, for those who remember my Uber's battles back in Gen 5, my fortress has a very interesting item, and that item is Red Card. So as long as my opponent cannot one-hit KO me, what happens is they set up on me, and I'm like, and then they try to kill me, they hit me, and then get uh, Red Carded away, they lose all their boosts, and it was a bunch of wasted turns, during which I very often set up hazards. So he goes for the play rough, does not bother trying to set up, and so all that means is he's going to switch out, um, or be switched out, rather, and yeah, yeah. So he actually is going to get, uh, his Noivern is going to be out, and that sucks because Flamethrower is a thing. Um, so I have to withdraw Deliani. I was really hoping I could get one turn where I could uh, Rapid Spin, but that doesn't work out. So I go now out in Starbuck, and I'm thinking, well, I'm Scarfed, maybe I can outspeed? Dot dot question mark, but no. Uh, well, I mean, you're, you're going to find out next turn, no, I can't. And for those who actually know the speed tiers, no, no. Uh, uh, so he's Life Orb, so not choice locked anyway, after all. Uh, so here he goes for the Dragon Pulse, and I'm like, oh, he outspeeds, but maybe I can take a Dragon Pulse. And no, I cannot take a Dragon Pulse. So Starbuck is a useless piece of crap, and it dies. I mean, it's PU, or it was PU last generation, and that was, even in PU, it was outclassed by Golduck. So it's kind of a crappy Pokemon, but um, I have sentimental attachment to Waylord for a variety of reasons. Um, so here he's going to withdraw. I think he was predicting a sun stun spore. Actually, I don't know why he, why he withdrew, he, considering he almost certainly outspeeds. Um, but yeah, I go for the stun spore here, and all that's going to do is paralyze a Pokemon that has most likely Gyro Ball. Yeah, that's not smart, and that's not great. I'm not even back up to full, so I don't have my Focus Sash intact, and that sucks. Um, but I go ahead and taunt, uh, just in case he wanted to set up hazards, uh, instead of just taking me out. And he decides to go for the Rapid Spin, and that's fine, that's fine. Uh, this is actually working out quite well for me, uh, in that uh, if he's got to do something, I'm glad he Rapid Spin and didn't Gyro Ball, um, and now he can't set up hazards, so I'm going to go ahead and safely switch my Jufro out, and I'm going to go out into my own fortress, and this is going to be my saving grace, because I'm assuming he doesn't switch this turn, and, uh, spoiler alert, he didn't. It, what it means is that I can Rapid Spin no matter what, he gets fully paralyzed, so bit of hacks back on him. Uh, he's going to withdraw Fortress here, but it's this is the turn that I needed. I just needed one turn to Rapid Spin, and I'm going to be able to do that right here. So I Rapid Spin, I spin the rocks away, and now his Mawile is out, and I'm thinking, ah, it's not good, because he can set up on me, and I don't have the red card anymore, and what can I do? Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. Uh, so I set up Stealth Rock, because it's the only thing that I, I, I guess I could have switched out, but... 
No, neither of my Pokemon can deal with this Mawile, so he's going to set up. A, he's going to set up another Swords Dance because he's won the game. I mean, there's nothing. To, there's nothing I can do, uh, and this is it. So I set up another layer of hazards, and I'm, and probably my opponent's like, "Why are you bothering? I'm just going to set up on you to just plus six, but it doesn't matter. So he's going to Iron Head uh, at plus four. It's going to take me out, no questions asked. And so now my only hope is to paralyze this this uh, this Pokemon. Uh, I keep going for profanities, but I don't want to use them if I don't have to. I go for the Stun Spore, and now it's down to hacks. It's all down to hacks. Uh, if he gets fully paralyzed enough times, then I think I've actually managed to win this match, because I, if I remember correctly, his Noivern is below 25%. So, um, yeah, so if I can just get him fully paralyzed one turn, then I've won the battle. So I send out Pidgey, and I'm very glad that the rocks are gone on my end, and I'm like, okay... Fire Blast, let's take it out after he gets fully paralyzed. And he gets fully paralyzed! I'm like, yes, I've won the game! <laughs> That's awesome! And it's Heat Wave, by the way, but it misses! And I'm like, well, the chance of Heat Wave missing is like 10%. Why? And he doesn't get fully paralyzed the second time. And I just want to cry. And I just want to cry. And I lose the battle to do hacks against his hacks, but my hacks was worse because of the various probabilities involved. But anyway, good game, Jay Bazi. Uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.